Welcome to Headline News 24/7. Please click like and subscribe. Sarah Sanders breaks down in tears in front of reporters after bravely making personal announcement. White House Press Secretary Sarah Huckabee Sanders is the pillar of professionalism and grace under fire. Since being hired for the role and having to conduct frequent press briefings to the mainstream media wolves, she's been a perpetual target of the most ruthless attacks. The media she briefs aren't the only ones who come at her. Late-night talk show hosts and celebrities in Hollywood have also enjoyed making fun of her to no end. After a while, it would take its toll on anyone regardless of your strength and solid sense of self-worth. Sarah has still has to do her job daily in the face of all of that torment and does so flawlessly. From how she holds herself, there's no telling what she really feels inside. However, she recently lost her composure, and rightfully so, when she broke down in tears in front of reporters as she began to make a very personal announcement. President Trump knew what he was doing when he put this incredible woman in this position. She's the very best for the job and more importantly, has Trump's back. There's no question how much she genuinely respects him and the job he's doing as our nation's leader. Proving that, was when she began to cry while revealing what she found on his desk. Western Journalism Reports White House Press Secretary Sarah Huckabee Sanders grew visibly emotional during a press briefing Thursday as she read from a 10-year-old letter recently sent to President Donald Trump from a Tennessee man named Joseph. The father of an Air Force Master Sergeant currently on his second tour of duty in Afghanistan. Joseph wrote the letter while his son was serving in Iraq, to remind him of everything that was at stake. Please don't lose sight of your purpose, Joseph had written. You're the only hope and glimmer of light for the good, innocent men, women and children that you are protecting. This may be hard for you to see or understand. Most people know that all of you are there because you volunteered to be there. Your actions and dedication are seen by people throughout the world as without a doubt the most heroic action of any person which can be made. You and the soldiers standing next to you from all of the other countries are the pride of not only the nations they represent, but every individual that yearns to be free," the letter concluded. Stand tall, my son, and be steadfast. For it is you who are the defender of freedom. As she read it, the emotion from the podium was palpable. Like Trump, Sanders has a deep respect for the men and women who serve our country. It was personal to her to make this announcement and obviously important. We owe it to the servicemen and women like the Master Sergeant who have fought in our name in Afghanistan for 17 years and to the families who have watched them go to secure an honorable and lasting outcome to this conflict," Sanders said during the press briefing, after reading the letter aloud. Western journalism added. Though many on both the right and left have complained over the president's just-announced decision to escalate the United States' war in Afghanistan, it's clear by Joseph's poignant words why we can't give up now when we've already come this far. Closing up the briefing. Sanders noted that Joseph told Trump he had been a police officer for 30 years and that he sent the letter to the president in the hopes he'd read it. I'm glad to say that he did earlier today, she said. Each citizen is so important and special to the president, that he read this letter and kept it within reach, despite receiving an overwhelming amount of mail daily, most likely. He promised to work for the average American in our military and is doing just that. Part of Joseph's words to his son also apply to Sanders and Trump as well. Please don't lose sight of your purpose. America needs them both to remain steadfast to their purpose through the challenges heaped on them by detractors. There's no doubt they too will fight until the end. That was the news. We thought you might be interested in knowing about this. Please click like and subscribe. Thank you.